trash. She self-identification is Caucasian on all CD. Meg crying bitterly as big as I debunked. Megan's lineage was again brought up this week when users on social media found an image of an online profile posted in 2013 that lists her as Caucasian with some suggestions. In the former actress's tweet posted on December 10, 2022, it claims that Meghan Markle had listed herself as a Caucasian supermodel. The tweet had several hundred engagements while the profile image of Meghan Markle was posted recently. It appears to have been circulated online for a few years, social media tore her apart for lying about race as some claim she has never called herself black. One person wrote, Rachel, Meghan Markle always identified herself with being Caucasian. She lists herself as Caucasian on all of the CBS. The only time she's ever referred to a color is when it suits her narrative i.e. in South Africa, she was a woman of color, never a black woman, Harry threatened his family if they didn't allow him to marry Meghan. They would claim it was because of her color. Meghan has aligned herself with the Black Lives Matter movement, not because she cares for black people but because she wants to use it as a platform to launch herself into politics. She has absolutely no interest before the recent BLM marches. Meghan uses a color as a way of deterring from a bad behavior, like an anthem she sings racism every time she's caught out lying, scheming, cheating, bullying, basically being her own toxic self. The second added, she's mixed race but has chosen to live and be seen as a white woman and takes offense to being called black. Calling a mixed race person black is prevalent in America because of the one drop rule and the racial divide still faced by many today. She doesn't even say, oh, I've always been mixed race, and all my friends, leaks, and teachers all knew I was mixed race. She prefers to be seen as white rather than mixed race, which is why she's unhappy people said, oh, Megan's mixed race. Here's a family tree from both sides all the way to slaves on her mother's side. This is standard on everyone who marries into the royal family. Catherine's family tree was also dug up and put out, pointing out all the working class people in a tree but Meghan wanted people to ignore her mother's side and not call her mixed race. She certainly wasn't called black by the British because they referred to mixed race people as exactly what they are, but to Meghan, calling her mixed race is pointing out that she has black blood, and she'd rather not know that because she prefers to ignore she's half black and focus on being half white. She refuses to call herself mixed race. Harry, though, called his kids mixed race. And I'm sure that rubs Megan up the wrong way because it's pointing out that they're black heritage, and Megan doesn't want anyone to notice she has black heritage. According to Tom Bauer, the race thing subtly starts before she married Harry. She needed a PR angle as a career wasn't going anywhere. One commented from Tom Bauer's book, It seems that being mixed race or black gave us something to talk about. It was only really about the time she met Harry that being black could be advantageous to her, or at least she'd have seen it that way. I actually don't think it's been to a benefit because I believe paranoia about racism has done more harm to her and Harry's mental health and to the reputations than any benefit. Her claims that there was racism towards her children that weren't even conceived yet, it's just mental that have done best to have just ignored the subject of racism. Now that she does have children, two white children, I might add, her complaints about racism towards them are even more ridiculous.